the maturing of a movement that understands that in order to receive power, one must exercise that power. And it is not done simply by holding signs above your head. It is not done simply by educating. It is done by motivating the vote, electing and supporting candidates who will reflect your values. That guy was good. That was Mark Skoda. He's chairman of the Memphis Tea Party at the first ever National Tea Party Convention down in Nashville, Tennessee today, where hundreds of Tea Party activists are angry at both Democrats and Republicans, and they are making sure their voices are heard. Judson Phillips is the National Tea Party organizer, and he joins us from Nashville. And convention supporter and Southern California Tax Revolt Coalition co-founder Leslie Eastman joining us again from San Diego, California. Great to see you both again. Judson, set the stage for us, set the scene. Uh, how many people, where are they from, what's the mood? Well, it, it, there's 600, and that's what our capacity was. We've sold out completely, uh, and it's just absolutely incredible down here. You know, you talk about the Tea Party being angry. Uh, you know, it started off as anger and frustration, and, and there's a lot of concern about where we are right now. But the mood here is, is there's an incredible energy. People are optimistic because they believe and they know that we're going to be able to change this country this year. So the, the people here are just absolutely elated. They're ready to go out and take care of business. Well, and the little bite that we saw from Mark Skoda, man, he's fired up. And, and again, he's, he's not, he doesn't have those things that Obama <laughs> does. He doesn't have those teleprompters to guide him along. Uh, people are speaking from their gut there, aren't they? Oh, hey, Mark is great. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he's just phenomenal. He, he got up, and, and what you heard was his speech this morning, and he just lit the crowd up. I mean, these people are ready to go out and take our country back. All right. Now, Leslie, are you still a registered Democrat? I am certainly a registered Democrat. Uh, and uh, you'd be interested to know I'm getting more registered Democrats interested in joining up. Good for you. We're partnering with Hill Buzz, uh, a team of independent Democrats out of Chicago to help support Republican candidate Chuck DeBoer, who's not the GOP establishment candidate, but a citizen candidate. So we're really thrilled about that. I'm partnering with some Native American activists so they can see if they can use the Tea Party movement and the Tea Party Patriots as a template for their style. Many of them are Democrat, so it's embracing both parties, other parties. All right, but Leslie, let me talk about Democrat, possible Democratic candidates. Are there any Democratic candidates that you know of that you could support in an election? Personally, I have to say no. My interest has been focused on issues such as a repealing our state version of cap and trade, AB 32, uh, citizen power campaign against our unions in the state, right. and also getting a California part time legislature. Right, but let me, so I'm let not me just throw candidates. one out there for you, Leslie. What about Gavin Newsom? Now, he's a San Francisco mayor. He's a former businessman. He had a he had a restaurant business. I think he still is a, is a part owner of it. Uh, if he was to give you real consideration and say, look, I want your support, what would I have to do to get it? If he came to you offering you a deal like that, would you take him up on it? No, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. <laughs> right. um, and frankly, I didn't like his attitude towards citizens as expressed in the uh, marriage issue. Uh, so I'm still looking for that good Democratic Tea Party candidate. I'm not feeling a lot of love for my party yeah. nowadays. All right, well, Judson, especially since the California Judson, back well, to you for a second because Demo I'm still trying to find exactly how this movement, and it's definitely a movement. I mean, there's no question about, it, but how it coalesces into a particular force that will change elections. You know, well, the amazing thing, I, to tell you the truth, I don't know how it's going to happen either, but that's been the whole story of the Tea Party movement. We've never known how certain things are going to happen. We never knew how we were going to put the rallies on. We, we didn't even know how we were going to put this convention on, but that's been the story of the Tea Party movement. Now, what will happen, and I don't know when it's going to happen, this movement is going to coalesce around a candidate, or I, I even prefer to say a standard bearer. Uh, well, let's uh, talk, let's talk about one that's going to be speaking there shortly, and that's Sarah Palin. She is absolutely incredible. Now, the question is, is she going to be the one the movement centers around? And the answer is, I don't know right now, because it's really, it's up to the movement. This movement is going to collectively do it. There's no one leader of this movement that's going to say, oh, we're supporting X candidate. And, there, and it won't even be done by any type of a national convention like our convention. There's going to be a consensus. Good conservative candidates need to be reaching out to the Tea Party movement. Yeah. As I've said to people, the Tea Party movement does not need to be endorsing candidates. Candidates should be endorsing the Tea Party movement. Well, Leslie, I know one good Democratic candidate who you could support. You! And that would be? You! Oh, 
Why don't you run? I, I mean, you know, put you, do it. I mean, the, there's an open race. Hey, I'll uh, second that, David. There are David. a lot of different races that are coming up in California. Why don't you run? It's very kind, but I, mu I much prefer to be supporting specific issues. But I like to use my Temple of Mut website to promote conservative causes and ideals and bring more Democrats into the fold so they can participate in the dialogue. And I'm really excited about that. All right. And well, I'd Leslie like Eastman, say, you know, don't leave, like Sarah say, don't leave Sarah Palin hanging as the one woman that the Tea Party supports. I mean, you could, you could wait, join her. Wait a second. Uh, we can't have Sarah. We can't afford her for our February 27th Tea Party. But I will be doing my world famous Sarah, Ter Sarah Palin Tea Party impression. Uh, so if you're in San Diego, February 27th, come to our Tea Party. February 27th in San Diego. Contact Leslie Eastman. Good to see you both. Judson Phillips, congratulations thank on your convention. Thank you both for coming in. David, thank you so, thank much you so very much. Me. By the way, by the way, David, we're going to be doing this again in July, 15th through the 17th. Details to follow soon. Good to know. Thanks both. Well, there are scary political.